everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Be Quiet Dark Power Pro 10 750 watt modular power supply and as you can see here on the front cover it, uh, it's not fully modular, it's partially modular, you have the 24 pin uh, power permanently attached to the power supply itself but it has uh, modular cables for uh, the connectors and also flip it here at the back you can see some uh, features here you can take a look at. There's a breakdown of the uh, cabling that are included. Now the Dark Power Pro 10 comes in a variety of power supply uh, wattages. This one is a 750 watt model. They also have a 550 watt. I believe the 550 watt and all the way up to 750 watt uses a, an updated FSP design while the 850 watt and higher models use a C-Sonic design and right here there's also a breakdown of the measurement it measures 180 millimeters uh, wide rather long and it is 150 millimeters wide and 86 millimeters tall also a breakdown of the uh, power here on the right side but of course we're going to take a look at that once we've opened the package itself. So let's start doing that now. See here there, at the top there is a, a handle and underneath that is a st seal sticker. So when you get it from the store you will arrive at that. Make sure that it's not an open box, hasn't been tampered with. Just, uh, trying to break that slowly, don't want to damage it too much. There you go. Notice that it is quite big for a 750 watt package. So inside, first thing we see is the documentation, the user's manual. It's actually taped uh, here to the uh, one of the uh, top covers in here. See, it comes in uh, multiple languages. Of course, it comes in English, uh, French, Polish, and uh, German. And uh, I believe uh, Be Quiet is a German-based company. And uh, let's open up the top packaging. You can see uh, some of the compartments in here. At the bottom, you have your power connector. This is actually a uh, European connector here. Since they're only available in uh, Europe for now, I'm not sure if they're going to branch out in North America soon. So I will have to use an adapter in order to use this one. And uh, here. As we are based in North America, and this is the 24 pin power that is uh, hardwired onto the power supply itself. Let's uh, clear out some of the accessories in this compartment. Before we move on, here, in this little bag here, you have uh, screws, your very long screws, and a couple of thumb screws. You don't want to use a screw, you don't want to use a screwdriver. A couple of cable ties, your zip ties. Aside, and this is an overclocking, uh, it's called the OC key. You can see there is a toggle switch, and also it is, there is a jumper. And now, what this does is actually, I will show it later in the back, but I can explain it now. And the Dark Power Pro uh, 10 actually it can switch between a single rail and a multiple rail design. The multiple rail design is actually the default version, but if you can just if you plug in that uh, switch. Or that if you if you uh, put in that jumper, it will move from multiple rail to a single rail design. And uh, let's move this aside for a bit and take a look at this box right here, which contains the modular cables. Again, there is a seal sticker. You need to break, access it. Here we go. You have your uh, more cable management ties here. There's they're stuck with these use velcro. There's about five of them and This one is uh, We use an eight it connect the uses eight pin uh, Let me count. Uh, there's actually ten pin connectors that can't connect to the power supply itself and it branches out so Each one actually has a their own velcro lock in here keep everything organized and it branches out as you can see they're all sleeved and uh, braided 
measures out to a pair of uh, eight pin connectors. And one is a uh, P8, just a single P8 connector, and one is a P4 and a P4, so it becomes a combined with becomes a an, an eight pin connector for your CPU. And included with that bundle is this one. This is a Molex, uh, a single hard drive Molex connector. Another one here. And this one, let's see what this one has. This one is a Molex, 4 pin Molex, but the end is a floppy connector. So there's two uh, Molex connectors and a floppy connector on one end. And these blue ones are the VGA or PCIe power connectors. Again, similar to the 8 pin one, it has a 10 pin, uh, this one actually has 12 pin power connector. Connects to the power supply and it branches out to a pair of uh, 6 plus 2 pin VGA or PCIe power connectors. And another one in that package is a uh, 4 pin CPU power connector. One here is a VGA power connector. Let's just separate it. See, this is a VGA power connector and another 8 pin or 4 plus 4 pin CPU power. And this one has a different looking cable in here. Let's try to separate it. Actually, a whole bunch of them. And let's take a look at the familiar ones first. These, of course, one more um, six pin to a single six pin, rather 12 pin uh, for the power supply to a six pin uh, VGA connector. And a single um, power to a SATA connector. And another one that is purely Molex. There's three Molex connectors in here connecting to a single end on the power supply. And this uh, uh, new looking cable in here that's black and white in color appears to be fan controller, or rather a fan connectors that connect to the power supply directly. You have three here. These are three separate cables. Let's see if they are different from each other or they are the same. And break it down. They are actually all the same. And let's just take one. There's actually four in total. And on one end, you basically have a uh, two pin power, three pin, but only two pin power connecting to it. On the middle, you have one that connects to a Molex connector. And of course, the beginning stem is the uh, one that attaches the header, the header that attaches to the power supply body itself. So you get four of these one, two, three, four. Put this aside for now. We have two more bundles here. You have these are actually side. These are all SATA cables. One is a combination SATA and Molex connector. You have uh, one SATA here, two SATA, and two Molex connector, and one floppy connector at the end. So they actually gave. Uh, Two floppy connectors and this power supply kit. Those that need it, and basically here you have a pure SATA cable, power cable. You have one, two, three on one cable. Another one that is three on one cable. And lastly, we have this VGA cable with. Let's see what the last SATA cable here. There's actually a Molex. Uh, cable and the last VGA cable in here. Yeah, branches out to a pair of uh, VGA cables. Okay, so let's put this aside. All the cables and uh, let's take a look at the Be Quiet 750 watt Dark Power Pro 10 power supply body itself. All right, so here we have the Be Quiet Dark Power Pro 750 watt power supply out of the packaging and 
And this is what it looks like. Of course, the as mentioned, the 24-pin power is hardwired into the unit itself. And the interesting thing here is that uh, unlike other power supplies, this one has actually has this little uh, rubber molding around it. There's no uh, chafing on the uh, on the metal part and the cable that are attached to it. And uh, let's just move this 24-pin power out of the way. Let's see. Just uh, undo that lock. Yeah, it's also braided, organized. These are 20 and 20 plus 4 or 24-pin power. And here we have the modular connectors. Here you have the 2-pin uh, headers for the fan uh, cables that are provided. You have the OC key right on top. This is a 3-pin. You attach the um, OC key switch or the OC key jumper. And this is where you attach the P8 or P4 cables, whichever one you choose. These are the 10-pin ones. Uh, depending on your uh, power supply needs and here on the right you have drives to five of them you can mix and match whatever uh, drive cable you want to use and at the top are the four PCIe or VGA um, 12 pin power connectors you see that everything is organized it's not color coded but the label is very clear so it shouldn't be hard to plug in at all even if it's inside your case and if you move here to the left side see the dark power pro uh, logo in there and uh, interesting to note is that this actually is uh, the be hard to see but the dark power pro lettering here is slightly raised it looks very attractive and even has that uh, that uh, kind of polished uh, board around it with the Be Quiet logo, so very reflective. And the edges of that, uh, this one is a very high gloss body, but the edges are actually rubberized for some grip on your case. See in here, that, uh, you can even uh, try to snap it a bit, see there. And here is the breakdown of the Dark Power Pro uh, P10 750 watt uh, power supply uh, cable. You can see there the uh, the multiple rails have a for 12 volt rail. You have 25A, 25A, 30A, and 30A combined 62 amp on 12 volt rail on a single rail mode. And also, uh, let's flip it here to the side. See what the on the other side pretty much the same thing. You have the raised lettering in there and the warranty void if removed sticker. And here at the bottom, you have the 135 millimeter silent wings to fan. That uh, be quite purports to be very uh, almost inaudible when in operation. Of course, we're going to uh, find that out once we've actually fired it up. And here at the bottom, you have, I'll just flip it over so you can see, a honeycomb mesh design here. That is uh, leaves very little for the uh, other components so there's a lot of space for um, for the hot air to come out when when the uh, fan blows out on it and also you can see here the power connector and the on and off switch of course it's 100 to 240 VAC so it's compatible with most uh, power users and uh, much it what we should do now is of course plug in our dark power pro 750 watt power supply to our test system and load it uh, see how close we can do it with these real-world components. As, uh, as you may know, High Tech Legion doesn't load, uh, doesn't use uh, synthetic loading uh, techniques. We actually use use uh, real-world uh, components. So I'll probably toss in a couple of cards here in SLI and see just how well the Dark Power Pro from Be Quiet, the P10 version, performs.